Morning campers! Something tremendously exciting has happened and I really wanted to share it with you all. A couple of weeks ago I was scrolling through Facebook and I came upon an advert for something called Formula Woman. I hadn't heard of it before so I sort of had a look at their Facebook profile and then I had a look at their website and I thought oh this sounds interesting. So I applied. In its most basic nutshell, Formula Woman allows women and girls from all walks of life and all ages with little or no experience in motorsport to have a go at achieving their motorsport dreams, which is uh, very exciting. So I applied. Um, when you apply, they send you out a welcome pack. So it means that, that this very exciting box here came through my door not long afterwards. And then I was invited to complete an e-learning module, which takes you through the basics of most sports, like the the very everything from the very basics of what actually happens when you turn up to a track day, how you sign on, the uh, flags, what a marshal is, um, and then it also takes you through things around the driving, so acceleration, braking, understeer, oversteer basic things like that which you might already know if you're a driver already and then at the end of that pass get a nice big certificate and you get invited to book your own track day once you get to the track day it's like an assessment day so you go through do five different activities they haven't yet been confirmed what five different activities we will be doing which is uh, a bit nerve-wracking <laughs> I could just feel like my anxiety rising a little bit in my chest and um, at the end of that if you pass, you then get to go on and compete. So what's happening is you're competing against women and girls who are all in the same boat as you with little or no motorsport experience and you're competing for the chance to win a fully sponsored year in the British GT Cup in 2022. This is really exciting and it's really out of my comfort zone as well so whilst I'm very much looking forward to it and I'm like really passionate about actually doing this motorsport thing there's also like, I'm also like really nervous. <laughs> Can you tell I'm really nervous? <laughs> oh. It just sort, sort of fills me with happiness, but at the same time makes me feel like my, like the bottom has dropped out from underneath my feet. I can just feel my stomach just going from like naught to sick and just straight down. It's like, oh, but I am really looking forward to it. So my driver assessment day is on the 15th of November and it's at Bedford Autodrome really looking forward to it. I did have the choice to, to do one in August at Anglesey but Anglesey is like four hours away and I, I wanted to go somewhere a bit closer to home so Bedford is about an hour and a half away so that's where I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, uh, never driven on a track before, ever, at all. Complete novice. Yeah, completely new experience. Driven a road car. Um, I'm not the best driver in the world. I'm not the speediest driver in the world either. I definitely don't treat the roads like a racetrack. Um, I imagine it's going to be very different to driving a road car, given like what we've seen so far in the training and things where they've sat in the simulators and shown us like how the simulators and stuff work. It's going to be very, very different. But I'm looking forward to it. Those of you who watch my channel quite a lot and have watched my quickfire questions videos will kind of know already that I'm quite an avid motorsport fan. If it's on four wheels and it drives around a track, chances are I like it. Um, so Formula 1, Formula E, Man of the Box of Frogs, Formula E, it's like Mario Kart on steroids and I'm genuinely here for it. Um, um, w Series, which has recently come back for its second season, absolutely love that. I would really love to be able to drive one of the W Series cars, just have a go on a track in a single seater car. I can imagine just how fast it goes. I really want to do it. I really want to do it. And I'm hoping that by taking part in Formula Woman, I'll kind of perhaps be able to have an opportunity to, to do that. I know they drive very different cars, so like W Series is like single seater, like miniature Formula One cars almost, and then Formula Woman is like a GT car, so very different. But I just want to get on and have a go. I really wanted to drive Formula Student when I was at uni, but their teams just weren't recruiting and there's like no information anywhere about Portsmouth Uni's team so it was like mm -hmm, but I want to do it and it was like nah, nothing so here I am completely not a novice entering Formula Woman. This uh, tremendously exciting box arrived and I'm very excited so we're going to unbox it and see what we get in here. 
it's a nice white box with Formula Woman at the top. It says your adventure starts here. Yes, it does. It doesn't stop here, as hopefully. I hope anyway. And basically, inside, I will fight with it and open it. Inside, straight on the top, sits and book. So this is like the kind of car that we're competing to drive. It's a McLaren 570S GT4. It looks so good, doesn't it? Look at it. I like how I like how it's been kept in the Formula Woman corporate colours and things. Um, it looks so good, doesn't it? Like I like I like how it's like been used to accentuate all the different features of the car. It just looks good. It stands out from the crowd. If you drove one of these around a racetrack, you'd spot it straight away because of like the teal and the pink, which is pretty good. Which is, which is pretty distinctive. I like it. I want to sit in it now. I want to sit in one of these. I want to sit in one. I want to sit in one. <laughs> this is the problem though. You've got it like all on paper and it's like, I want to sit in it. I want to do practical stuff now. <laughs> but it's like, can't. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. And basically, this is like the book that you get with it. And there's all sorts of pictures in there. Because Formula Woman was originally run as a championship between 2004 and 2007. Originally, the, um, in the inaugural season, the women drove Mazda RX-8s, but then after that, their um, partnership with Mazda dissolved and they started driving Caterham 7s. It kind of disappeared in 2007, so um, and it's just come back this year, so it's uh, very exciting. And you get like another welcome, and more pictures of cars. Look at it, look at the car. It's really good on the wall inside the car close-ups from my outside the car yet more car pictures literally this is a whole book just full of car pictures but at the same time it's tremendously exciting to sit and walk through all of these car pictures it's just cars Car pictures, so yeah, basically you get a book full of car pictures, <laughs> and then inside are like lots and lots of other little bits. So face mask to wear at events with a logo on it. Kind of need one of those at the minute. Plus it advertises, doesn't it? So I'm kind of like walking around in it. I'm not saving it for like best track days. This is like my go-to mask at the moment. And then I have access card and a lanyard because I've got to wear this at events. And then uh, looking behind the access card, you can just about see a pen. I'm going to see this in my handbag because I need a new pen for my handbag. Mine's like disappeared. And it's like, yay. I can like sign things with my nice Formula woman, woman pen and hopefully have it be a little bit of a conversation starter. Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's like in a nice little handy box, tiny little box. And it means that basically I've got something to store memories in. It's a really it's a nice thing to arrive as well. I actually wasn't expecting to get a welcome pack. I know it says on the website welcome pack, but I kind of thought welcome pack would be leaflets rather than something useful like this. And it's kind of cool. I like it. I do like it. I'm just going to sit in my memory drawer. So even if I'm not like successful, at least I've got the memories of stuff to look back up. The only major problem with motorsport is that it eats money and very quickly. They do have helmets and race suits available, but because of my size and because I'm like odd sized and have extra long arms, I'm gonna need one of my own in my own measurements. And I was looking online and they're like at the cheapest, they're like four or five hundred pounds. I'm like, oh, I literally don't have that much money in the whole wide world. That's so sad, isn't it? So bad. And it's just, I just don't have money to buy one. And they advise that you have your own helmet. They do have some that they can lend you to borrow, but I'd rather have my own, especially like with COVID and stuff, because it's got to go over your face and whatever. And then that's another like six, seven hundred pounds, and it's like, oh, it's all adding up, and it's. Oh. And then you need like the fireproof shoes to wear, the boots when you're racing. They're another couple of hundred quid. The underlayers, the gloves. So you're looking at about grand and a half, two grand, just for your kit alone, and it's like, that's so expensive. I wish I had that money to be able to buy it all myself, but I literally just don't. And then on top of that, you have to pay for your simulated days, 
the buy into track events if you want that there's hospitality events like this one for the British Grand Prix that's £250 it covers the whole weekend but I just can't afford that I would love to go but I just I just can't afford it and it, but basically you have to buy into everything else and it, it's one of those it's an experience that I would really love to do but Formula Woman don't make this clear when on their sign up page and if you're a complete nut and novice like me you sort of go with the flow of dreams and things and it's like damn it can't it's really expensive and basically racing is just a bit of a money pit and it eats money however with formula woman we are allowed to have sponsors and sponsors logos will be placed on helmets and on race suits and possibly on the outside of the car as well depending on regulations of the tracks that we're going to and so at the moment i'm looking for sponsors looking for both personal sponsors for which i've set up a gofundme i will post a link in the description box down below and it is on the bottom of most of my recent videos so if you would like to donate towards helping me being able to buy my own race equipment or just towards like the travel costs and things because petrol and whatever isn't cheap at the moment um my link is down below i'm very grateful for anybody that does donate even if it's only a small amount even if, even if you can only afford to donate a couple of pounds Thank you so much. It just, all of it kind of helps. And I'm reliant on a lot of people's support now because I just don't have the savings or the money or anything just to do this. And I would really like to do this. And I really seriously would love to have a chance at doing this because opportunities like this don't, they don't happen to everyone. They're like once in a lifetime opportunity and I would really, really just like to have this one experience. I find it really hard. I'm at, I've got a really big lump in my throat to quote Murray Walker. But I don't like having to ask people for money. And I know that times are seriously hard at the moment. And it really makes me feel guilty having to ask for help, ask for money. I have about half of the money I need from my own funds and my own savings to put towards it. But I need your help. And I feel really horrible asking for it, but I really do need your help. If you look at like my background and the fact that I come from poverty and I've kind of flitted over, well, I've always been below the poverty line, but I've kind of hopped over between poverty and then absolute destitution quite a lot. And at the moment, yo-yoing quite a bit, and I think it's it's the same for a lot of people from where I'm from. So this is a big thing, not just for me, but for like, my community as well and if you can help i am very grateful honestly very grateful for any kind of help that you can provide any assistance anything just even if it's just a couple of quid i'm just really grateful and now i really do need to stop because i really do have a lump in my throat and it's making it very hard to talk I am also looking for corporate sponsors, so if anybody knows of anybody who perhaps owns a business who might be interested in sponsoring me in return for having like logos and things on helmets or race suits, please let me know, please comment below, please message my, my dedicated Formula Woman Instagram, I'll also pop a link for that down below, just drop me a DM, please. I just... There's a massive gulf between dreams and powers and I would really like just to have this one experience, this one shot at just just having an opportunity to drive a car like a GT car because how many people have driven a GT car, how many people have been able to drive around a track and oh, it's just a massive dream for me and it's something that I would really like to do but I'm struggling with it, struggling to afford it and it feels really shitty really that so many like dreams and opportunities people can't do because they just don't have the finances and I know and I really do appreciate that times are hard and I know there's going to be people out there going we'll get a job then and it's like but I am I'm working towards it but I would like help and it's not like I'm not putting any money of my own into it and I'm not wholly reliant on sponsors I would just like sponsorship to cover of it 
it's hard having to ask for that. So whilst I'm equally, so whilst I'm very excited, I'm also very, it sort of sits in the back of my mind that I might have to drop out eventually because I just don't have the finances. And I see along all the Formula Woman Instagrams and like the whole network and the hashtag, all these people that already have like track experience and they're motoring around on tracks and things and they have all these massive corporate sponsors and it's like but I just don't have that and I really wish I could self-fund and I would really really seriously like to self-fund but I can't I think it's great for all these women that do have all these corporate sponsors but sponsorships are very hard to come by um, especially for people like me like I'm looking for sponsorship and things and collaborations for my YouTube channel for a while but and it's always worth asking it always is but sometimes you just don't get the results that you hope for and sometimes it's just not possible and a lot of places they're reliant on things like follower count and everything else but if you just don't have the following if you're like me and you're basically a nobody it's very hard but I'm hoping that I'll be able to encourage somewhere along the way pitch towards sponsors and things and hopefully the sort of advertising and the fact that the assessments and things will be televised as well on major channels kind of uh, will be a bit of a draw for some sponsors fingers crossed I just It's basically going to be a very it's basically going to be a marathon not a sprint but I'm determined to do it and I'm determined to create this opportunity for myself you always see everywhere create your own opportunities yeah well this is what I'm doing I'm creating this opportunity and I'm determined that I will race and that I will get through and I will win this fabulous opportunity in to race in the GT cars I just need to get over this obstacle of finances first. So campers, if you are able to donate, like I've said, my link is uh, below. Every penny really helps a lot for me. It's just a pure lifeline. So thank you very much if you can donate. I am seriously grateful. Words just don't express what I feel when people are so supportive. Every time I get a supportive message, every time somebody donates, it's just warm feeling right in my chest and it does make me feel makes me feel really positive and really energetic and it helps a lot with my motivation as well not that i need much motivation i mean it's a car it's a car not like cars, cars. <laughs> but yes if you can help please donate Every small amount helps, even if you can't afford to donate hundreds. I wouldn't expect anybody to donate hundreds, just even if it's just ten pounds, that's that's a fifth of the price of the fireproof gloves I need. That so it, it it goes, it counts, it really helps. So if you can, please do. If you are able to, please also share this video out on your social networks far and wide the link you should be able just to share it through YouTube and everything else please share it out through your social networks please retweet it if it appears on your social network um, yeah I'm just basically trying to do everything I can to get sponsorship and to create this opportunity and to make the most of this opportunity just to just seize it with both hands and just go for it because that's really what I want to do Thank you so much for all your help, campers. See you soon. Bye.